series of four part videos related to basic drawing, I'm going to talk about selecting. And this is an important piece of drawing anything in Illustrator. So you have two selection tools along the toolbox. The one I'm interested in right now is just the selection tool. You can see that's the black arrow here. You also have a direct selection tool, but we're going to have to talk about that in another video. So for now, we'll just talk about the selection tool. And the selection tool is used to select existing shapes and modify them, whether that be resizing or moving them around your artboard. And this is something that can be a lot easier said than done. So let's just start with a basic rectangle. Here it is. Now notice with my selection tool, if I move my mouse over the rectangle anywhere, the fill or the border path, it highlights the shape. And so if I click once, it's going to select it. <clears throat> you can see my mouse pointer has a little kind of tail on it. The arrow has a tail. If I move it over that shape I have selected, the tail disappears. And that means that if I were to click and hold, and drag it, I can move it around the page. You'll notice that these shapes along the border of the, um, or the squares along the border of the shape here, if I move my mouse over that, it becomes a double headed arrow, at which point I can click and drag to resize that shape. So you'd think I would be able to apply that same logic to any shape, and you'd be right if you were talking about the circle. So there it is, if I move my mouse and click on the middle of the circle, it selects it, I can resize it, move it, no problems. The star is a little bit different. The star, if I go and click on the middle of it, well, it doesn't select anything. Nothing's getting selected. Those borders aren't appearing, nothing. And what this is, and what you need to look out for, is the fact that when we're dealing with a selection tool, it's very aware of a fill color that's set. So in this particular example, this rectangle, the fill color, which I can see down here, this is the outline color, stroke color, and this is the fill color. That's white. So that means there is white, essentially I'm gonna call it ink, in this space, which means I can click on it to select those shapes. You'll see the circle is the same. However, the star is different. The star doesn't have a fill color set. It just has an outline color. So you'll notice when I move my mouse over the outside or the border of the star, then it highlights it and I can click and select the shape. If I click on the middle, essentially there's nothing there. It's no fill. And how you can tell there's no fill is I'm going to select it again. I'm going to click on the border and in the fill color, chip in my toolbox that's got a red line through it and this indicates no fill so just be aware that when you have no fill on a shape you do have to click on the stroke or the border to select it and if you wanted to move it you want to make sure you get the arrow with no no tail on it and a little point you see if i'm here it's not going to move if i'm here not going to move i can show you if i click and drag nothing happens you want the one to move to move over the border in this case with no little tail on it you can drag that now and change the position of it. You can also resize using the corners just like we did with the other ones. No problem there. So that's some basic techniques about selecting that we need to be aware of. One other thing I'm gonna leave you with is when selecting multiple shapes, there's gonna be two ways to do that. One, is you can click on the shape you wanna select first, just regularly. Then you would hold down shift. And holding down the shift key, I can actually grab multiple shapes. So I could go ahead and grab that one as well. So now I can group them, I could move them all at the same time, whatever we'd want to do. To deselect, you simply click on a blank area of your artboard. One other way to do that using your mouse, and there are multiple ways, but this is just one other way, is you can create something called a selection net. And how a selection net works is you click and drag with the selection tool. Anything touching that net is going to get selected. So you'll see if I drag a net just around the star, just selects the star. If I drag a net around the rectangle and the ellipse in this case, it selects those. And it only needs to be a partial area of that shape with the selection tool. So you'll see if I just drag a net touching both of these like, like this, it does select both of the shapes to move. So that's going to conclude our series of videos on basic drawing in Illustrator. In other series, we'll talk about more advanced drawing. We're going to talk about the pen tool. And then we'll talk about applying different fill colors and different borders.